Welcome back to Cheesehead TV. Join us as we go all across Wisconsin, visiting some Packers legends and touring their awesome Packers shrines, hosted by yours truly, Wyatt G. Make sure y'all stick along for this journey and remember, go Pack Go. Welcome back to Cheesehead TV. I'm your host, Wyatt G. We are here on our 10 part series doing super fan interviews all across Wisconsin. Today, I'm with a very special guest. Tom Burns at the Green Bay House. Tom, thanks for having us. Thanks for coming. It's Appreciate a pleasure. It, yeah. Now, you got something really cool to show us. You got a man cave, right? It's a little bit more like a garage cave, I think. Okay, right? okay. Maybe man cave slash garage cave slash fan cave. We could probably hit them all. Well, I'm excited to check it out. Let's see it. Let's go, guys. All right, Tom, what inspired you to come up and create this awesome Packers cave. Obviously, being from Wisconsin, my wife and I were always, you know, diehard Packer fans. But uh, I would say probably five, six years ago, we started to kind of, you know, think about the idea of buying a house near Lambeau Field. Right, summer 2020, mm -hmm. this house came up for sale, and we actually put this offer, and we we're the only couple to put an offer on this house, which is crazy to think about. And it was the only place we ever looked at up here. It was just kind of was meant to be. Originally, this house is gonna be a Airbnb. Mm -hmm. That was the original intent. One of our family friends actually owned a house just south of the stadium. They invited us over to tailgate with them. So we stopped by, I walked in, they had, you know, the garage was redone, they had the party table, they yeah. had the heater. And it was just like, man, like this is the way you do it. Like this is awesome. You know, after the season ended, I started ripping down. It was all quarter inch, uh, four by eight wood paneling mm -hmm. in here, old school, like 60s style. Yeah. <laughs> um, basically ripping it down to the brick studs uh, behind the walls. And uh, I started tearing it apart, took the ceiling down, and then we just started building it back up. So you went from buying the house, then into the season, then immediately after, tearing all this apart yep. and redoing it from the start and making it the way you exactly want it. Yeah, we did the uh, we did the drywall, we did the floors, um, we obviously put all the lights in and we've added to it a lot. So it's like, it's I'm always thinking about, okay, what do we need to upgrade here or whatever, mm -hmm. put in a bigger TV. But uh, yeah, we've done a lot to the space and it's just kind of like, a never ending project. You're always trying to make it a little bit better and make it a little more fun. Who is all allowed to go to these events? No Vikings fans. Oh, I like time. that. No, I like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, we uh, we got Vikings fans here. We got Bears fans, Lions fans, but you know, mostly it's it started with our family, our friends, mm -hmm. our neighbors. We've got family here. We've got friends that we might be hosting for the weekend. We've got neighbors that come up. And then obviously um, just the, the presence on Instagram has opened the door for a lot of people to come here. We've had people from Hawaii, Arizona, Texas, you know, all over the country just to see the place or come hang out for a tailgate. So it's really cool, but anyone's welcome. What are some of your game day traditions that you have here at the house or that you do personally as well? Oh man, game day traditions, that's a good one. Um, you know, for me, I, I always kind of start off super early, so I'll be the first one up, um, but I always do, I'll do a quick video of the garage in the morning. Yep. That's kind of how I started off. Then I'll post it out in the morning just to kind of set the tone for yep. the day. <laughs> I'll kind of get the parking stake set up and get the sign out and get the food ready to go. And I think one of the cooler things for sure is uh, the flyovers. Um, mm. So we'll all kind of go out in the driveway right before the game. You see the Jets come over the stadium. It's an awesome experience, obviously, to kind of see it from a different vantage point. There was a gentleman named Jimbo in Janesville. He was mm -hmm. a uh, family member of ours. Every year, he'd invite his extended family down for a game, and he called it fan appreciation. So we'd go down there, watch a game at the house, and he passed away, actually, just before we bought this house um, in the summer of 2020. Once we got kind of settled in, we decided to carry on the tradition of hosting fan appreciation up here. So now, instead of us going down there, we host his whole family up here for a game. Now, you do a, an auction, correct? Is that what you would call it? I'd say more raffle. A raffle yeah, for raffle. charity, yep. right? This will be our fourth year that we're, we're doing this. It started three years ago. You know, myself, I met a gentleman online, Marlon from Bayou Dog. Mm. He owns a great business selling chili out on the West Coast, huge Packer fan. We kind of hooked up and we were like, hey, why don't we host this event? You know, we'll, we'll try to raise money for veterans and 
Um, basically, we kind of went around to local memorabilia shops, just collecting donations. Mm -hmm. We had some people donate items, sign mini helmets and stuff yeah. like that. We'll raffle this stuff off and we'll just sell raffle tickets, see how much money we can raise. And that first year it was like, I was kind of like thinking, man, if we get like, hopefully we get like 500 bucks, I'm gonna be, you know, this would be super embarrassing, but uh, we ended up raising five grand. Next year was 9,000, next year was 13,000. Now we're working with um, a group called Sierra Delta and they help uh, veterans kind of connect with companion dogs and mm -hmm. service dogs. We've donated uh, close to $30,000 over the last three seasons to veterans, which is awesome. Last year we had a Favre Rogers signed helmet. We had, it's a lot of cool stuff, but we sell tickets for 20 bucks a piece. You know, it's, you can win as much as you're drawn, which is kind of cool. So then Tom, every Packers home game, you do these uh, raffles, correct? Not everyone, just once a year. Okay. Once a year for the raffle. Every home game we do a big tailgate though. Mm, I gotcha. Um, if people want to buy raffle tickets, where can they get them at? And then what game will you, this for this year, will you be having the raffle at? All right, so we have an announcement. Okay, ooh. Which, should we do an news. exclusive announcement right I'd here? I'd say, I'd say so, let's do it, Tom. All right, so we're gonna go uh, this year's, this will be the fourth annual uh, Green Bay House Ultimate Tailgate and Raffle. And this year's event's gonna be November 24th, uh, Packers versus 49ers, 3.30 game. So we're gonna start the tailgate off at 10 o'clock. Okay. And uh, it's on. I mean, that's the that's the premier game of the fall for sure. Enough talking. I say let's go check out this K, right? Check it out. Let's do it. All right, Tom, we got a lot of cool stuff here. Let's talk about some of these pictures. Yeah, for sure. So originally, we really wanted to keep everything very consistent with the 60s. Mm -hmm. uh, the house was built in 63. So we wanted to keep the theme throughout the house of you know, Horning, Lombardi, Bart Starr. I found a guy on Etsy who actually created old school scoreboards. And I reached out to him and I said, hey man, can you do something like the old Packers scoreboard? And I wanted something to capture the ice bowl, the most iconic moment probably in Packers history. We added in the sneak photo, which um, I actually purchased these photos from Jim Beaver, who's the son of Vern okay. Beaver, the old time Packers photographer who took the photos. And you even have an old school picture of the Green Bay house here from yep. Green Bay. Apparently, what is it's that? It's crazy, yeah. Somebody reached out on Instagram and they were like, hey, did you know that there actually was a Green Bay house in like the 1920s? And uh, they sent me a picture um, of an old school, it was kind of like a bed and breakfast mm -hmm. style. Uh, in Green Bay, and the coolest thing about it is right across the top, uh, Green Bay House is written on the actual building. And uh, that's, you know, that's kind of a cool thing, but a um, little bit of history to tie in from 100 years ago, right. it's crazy. The old Green Bay House, yeah, this the, is the, the new. original. Yeah, that's, that's the original, the this is the Green new Bay one House. now, guys, <laughs> the sure. new one. Yeah, so this was, uh, this was a cool thing we put together. I always thought it would be awesome to have like a custom, authentic NFL helmet in the yeah. garage. Uh, but the problem is, super cool thing to have in the garage, just uh, kind of a one of a kind deal for sure. Very unique, yeah. I'd say, very yeah. unique. I love it, they did an awesome job. Great, great people over there. So you went under a lot of renovations here this past year, and this back wall was one of the new ones. Uh, when you walk into a bar in Wisconsin, and you have that like, North Woods feel. Yeah, right? the rustic like, vibe. Everybody loves that. You smell the wood and you come in, just like got a little bit of a North Wood style. Uh, everybody was making fun of me online. Somebody said I looked like I had an iPad hanging on the, on the wall, so I had to upgrade the TV size. Uh, so this is the new 98. Well, the worst thing is about being so close is that you can hear sometimes yep. the fireworks right before the play. Just try to turn up the volume so that we could uh, not be so surprised. Now, how often do you get recognized as Matt LaFleur? <laughs> how many times do you get asked, that, like, are you Matt LaFleur? How many times? Uh, honestly, this is funny. I was literally in Atlanta two weeks ago uh, for a work event. Uh -huh. And a guy was like, dude, you're kind of giving me off like major Matt LaFleur vibes <laughs> right now. Cause we were talking about the NFL. Like when I grow my facial hair out, for sure, it, it happens more often than not, definitely. It's kind of weird. What I always say is, hey, if you're planning on coming to Lambeau, 
hit us up like a week before the game. You know, hit us up a few days before if you're serious about coming. We obviously welcome anyone and we'll hook you up with the address. We'll get you all the details. If you need parking, we can make sure we reserve a spot in the lawn. We're very blessed to have a spot here. I feel like it was kind of meant to be of, of how we came across this, this house oh, yeah. and ended up getting it. We're just super grateful for everything. Tom, it was a pleasure. Oh, <laughs> got the pup here. This is little Reggie. <laughs> we got Reggie. Hey, and that was your favorite player too, you said, yes, right? that's right. Tom, thank you so much for having us at your awesome Packers cave. Make sure you check them out, the Green Bay house. Can I get a go pack go to end it off? Go pack go, always. See you guys next time. Make sure you like, subscribe.